Hey everybody, in this video I will be going through some shortcut options that will help navigate through the Sea and Spray Premium Setup menu. The quickest and easiest path to the Sea and Spray Setup menu is through this button. It may be hard to see, but it's located right here on the bottom shortcut bar. If not located here, please add through Layout Manager. The Sea and Spray Setup menu is where the operator can access items like Nozzle Configuration. Nozzle Configuration has the same layout as an Exact Apply system. Exact Apply is the base technology for Sea and Spray. This is where an operator will select the tips and their position on the nozzle body. Tips selected for Sea and Spray application must be installed in position 4, 5, and 6 with the tip facing rearward. The operator must select the correct part number of the tip so the system knows the spray pattern degree. The R4 at the end of the part number indicates the 40 degree rearward adapter. The spray method is where the operator can select between broadcast and sea and spray. Sea and spray is only available on the B nozzle. While sea and spray is active, the spray system works like an old school sprayer. No pulsing while sea and spray is active just speed and pressure. If an operator would like to use pulsing, the method must be changed from sea and spray to broadcast. Recommend setting the valve pulsing mode to auto to ensure proper use of the broadcast method. Next on the sea and spray setup page is product and crop type. Both selections will shortcut to the work setup page here is where the operator will select the current crop type and tank mix. Be sure to verify the correct chemicals are added for each solution or selecting a tank mix configuration imported from the operation center. Next setting is fallback mode. Fallback mode occurs when the system encounters an issue such as boom height out of range, speed limit exceeded, or the system cannot perform reliably. Selecting off will tell the system to not spray during a fallback trigger. Selecting broadcast will tell the system to spray during a fallback trigger. Next is the spray buffer area. This setting allows the operator to adjust the amount of coverage when the nozzle is commanded to spray. On the left hand side of the screen are the adjustments for the length and the width. Using the increment settings of small, medium, and large, the operator can obtain the coverage desired. On the right hand side of the screen is a visual representation of how the system will perform with the selected adjustments. Last is the spray sensitivities. This adjustment determines how the system responds to a weed detection. Looking at the left side of the screen, there is an image of a large weed. On the right hand side of the screen, there is an image of a small weed. The large weed represents the lowest sensitivity setting. The small weed represents the highest sensitivity setting. If an operator would choose the lowest sensitivity setting, the system would only spray the larger or heavier weed pressure areas. The operator is choosing to save on chemical and leave alone the smaller or lighter weed pressure areas. If the operator would choose the highest sensitivity setting, the system would spray any weed size down to a quarter inch, reducing the chemical savings but increasing application coverage. What features are available to help an operator find the right sensitivity setting? Utilizing the home screen, find the Sea and Spray module that illustrates the six green image processor boxes and the smaller green boxes or cameras located below a spray boom. This will be our shortcut into the image processors and the live camera feeds. I would also like to point out our current sensitivity is set to 3 or medium, shown from the home screen. Selecting the module will shortcut to the overview and image processors. Selecting an image processor will give the operator a live feed from the first camera linked to that processor. The operator can also use the boom icon on the top of the screen to navigate to another image processor. Selecting the live feed will enlarge the small screen. Looking at the live feed, we can see the colored highlights. 
These highlights are what the cameras are picking up with the sensitivity set to medium. While in the field, an operator can access this camera page at any time to check the colored highlights in relation to the sensitivity setting. The operator can then adjust the sensitivities to achieve either chemical savings or coverage. Now let's access the Sea and Spray setup page and adjust our sensitivity setting to the highest setting. Once the adjustment has been made, we can navigate back to the camera page and see what effect it has on the colored highlights or what the cameras are picking up on. As you can see, the cameras are picking up on more colored highlights. Therefore, the system will be spraying more frequently. Another handy shortcut is the Nozzle B switch button. This button allows the operator to switch between see and spray application and broadcast application. Remember, broadcast is exact apply or pulsing when pulsing is set to auto. Using this shortcut feature allows the operator to change the spray method without entering the nozzle configuration. Depending on the rate and current tip selection, switching from see and spray to broadcast may require a nozzle adjustment. The last shortcut I would like to discuss is the A or B nozzle command arm shortcuts. The operator can activate the A nozzle, the B nozzle, and also the A plus B spray method. To activate the A plus B method, remember the operator must press and hold both the A and B buttons for at least three seconds. I hope the shortcut options discussed in this video will help operators navigate through the see and spray setup menu.